lol. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, this first art is by Baka Baka Doodles. Um, this was from a while ago, and I do apologize. It took me a while to get caught up. You guys know I've been very busy. So, Baka Baka. Last time I know we talked a little bit about kind of what your characteristics are doing here. You're still kind of doing the same thing. Um, I want to see a little bit more, like, I like how simplistic this is. But you still gotta make sure that your eyes and everything are lined up a little bit more. Make sure you're doing your, your alignment on your character because the eye, when you close your eye, like, see where my eyes close? Now, if you're trying to do a style, I get that, but maybe still just put it a little bit closer towards about where the middle of the eye would be for this one. You know, like, I, I get the really simplistic, just circular little eye. I like how very almost old school cartoon this looks. Um, I really, really do. So I'd say just line it up a little bit more. You can keep this very simplistic. I like the line art and where you have a little bit more thick and a little bit more thin lines in places uh, where areas are bunching a little bit more. I do like that. Um, also, I'm not sure, is this glasses that you've got on? Because it's so, maybe have this line come down to where the bottom of the eye would be. Um, just a couple little things that are a little confusing here. But I just want to see it cleaned up a little bit more. Like, if you're going to have the glasses, let the hair come through the glasses, you know? like. Let's show that a little bit, because right now it looks like it's an eyebrow. But you've got this line that's coming across that makes it look like it's supposed to be glasses. Um, or if it's made to be the eyebrow, then don't like cut the hair right behind it. Let the hair come over top of it, okay? Yes, Dr. The Apprentice, you can submit art right now for critique. I will definitely get to as much as I possibly can, okay? Um, and, uh, hmm. I think that's really about it. Like, I like the characteristics that you're going for. Like I said, the very old school kind of cartoony, like Betty Boop almost kind of style. I really like it. I just want to see it lined up a little bit more. Spend a little bit more time. Think about where your eyes are going to be. Think about, um, where the nose is supposed to be. Um, just, just practice with it a little bit more. Play with it. Line it up so it's really nice and clean, and I think that'll look really, really cute. I like it, though. You're doing a good job. Matroda, to be able to submit art, what you do is you guys go into Discord. See the link there in chat? You go just right here to this little channel. Critique Corner, post your art right in there. Alright, so the next one we've got is by Fifi Tales. Fifi, this is really cute. I feel like I just saw this recently, too. Did somebody... I, I feel like... I've seen this. Hmm. Anyway, I mean, the, the anime style, the way it looks, you've got the nice crisp lines and stuff like that. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna go into the boobity boobs here for a second. All right, um, you've got the line here, you've got the lines here, but then it suddenly like super blooms out here. Boobs don't work like that, not in the slightest. The the bust is really 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 off here. Like it looks like her boobs should be like right about here the way the thing is, and then you suddenly got that coming out here. Does not work like that. I'm gonna red light really quick. The rest of it's really clean though. I like the style that you're going with. I'd say, um, uh, once I redline this, I'll tell you a little bit more about some other things, but we'll, we'll show you this really quick here. We're gonna blow this up. Kudu, what's up? By the way, yes, I have played, um, Heart of Thorns. I love it so far. But we're gonna go over top of this. Kinda get this in here. Okay, so, actually, we'll do this color right here. Oh, why did I suddenly change to brush, uh, or pencil? I don't want that, I want my brush. And I want that brush, there we go. Okay. So, always guys, try to bop, like, like I keep saying over and over and over again, you really wanna make sure that you've got your base idea kinda set up here because it looks like you probably looked off something for the face. You've got this very generic um, anime head that definitely looks, you know, it's pretty good for an anime. Head, the eyes, and everything. Those add up. Right? 
but you're not doing anything about like the shoulders and stuff like that. So first, make sure that this lines up right, okay? Why is my stuff, I don't know how it's changing like that again. That's not what I want though. Anyway. All right, so the neck kind of lines up into the collarbone, okay? Just right here, you've got these tendons that kind of come down like this into your collarbone. Collarbone goes across. Like, really pay attention to where your bone structure is on yourself and on other people. Look at references of how people are so that you can kind of get an idea for some of this, all right? So we got shoulder, shoulder, okay? Then we've got chest. Now, boobs and how they work. If we're really gonna go for kind of that anime-esque style, they're gonna be a bit more like perfectly rounded kind of things, but they still have weight to them. I mean, you gotta, you gotta think about that. They're not just perfect circles and then you just kind of like go around it, okay? It doesn't work like that. They have weight. So I see what you tried to do. You tried to do the weight a little bit, but it doesn't add up to where it's supposed to be. Actually, this girl's kind of... I'm going to try to do this anatomically correct. I don't know exactly what you're you're looking for here, so... I wanted to submit something, but it's my first drawing and it's so bad it's not finished. Adam, that's okay. That's what we're here for. It's to help start directing you in a way... I'm going to pick, like, one thing that I don't like specifically. I'm going to have you work on that. But yes, boobs are, boobs are teardrops, as uh, Derpy said. They're, they really are. They're more like this. But they got the weight, you know, that ball right here, it, it, it sags down. So, I can't, I can't see very well with uh, the other thing going on underneath it. Leave that layer. Hey, Solari, what's up, babe? Welcome to the stream, hun. But... There we go. The line of your underarm actually connects into the bottom part of your boob. I don't know if you guys realize that. That's for men too. So this line right here into your armpit, the tendon follows around and kind of goes around towards your boob. So kind of keep that in mind. That these, look for connecting lines. Really think about, think about where everything is at, okay? connect stuff look at look at real life human bodies and try to figure out where all these things connect and where you can connect them to okay because you've also got like another muscle that's right here look at muscle structures and stuff too i'm not super good at this i'm learning a little bit more myself as well right I mean, and for anime too. I'm doing more, this is my style. So I'm gonna try to do more anatomically correct kind of girls because I don't do like super anime. Don't forget about that rib cage too. You know, that rib cage is in there. So that's what you gotta think about. So this just kind of blooms out way too far over here, like I said. Gotta think about that. Gotta think about how boobs work. So you're kind of close. You just uh, missed it just a little bit. All right. So keep working on that. Really, again, go look at some human bodies and start practicing on your like shoulders and chest area. Okay. Silence. Mitsu just answered that for you. Thank you very much. All right. Next up. Whoops. I didn't mean to do the thing. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to click the thing. I meant to click that. Don't don't do anything. All right. Next up is Panda Warrior. All right, I'm gonna take. Ha! Ah, I love Aladdin. I loved the series. I loved watching that with my boyfriend. Good stuff. Um. Okay. I'm gonna focus more on the other one because it feels like this one. Uh-oh, now it's trying to do it. Here we go. Okay, there we go. I'm going to focus more on, not this one, but I'm going to focus more on this one to give you some ideas. And again, it's going to go into this body proportion stuff. You guys need to start 
thinking about building blocks, okay? For a lot of you, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go through the same thing. So if you guys hear me say refer back to this area, it's what I mean. Refer back to this area about building blocks. I'm gonna show you what's kind of going on here. When we start to draw our own bodies, our own human cells, right? You need to look at references of people. So I'm just gonna get like a let me go find a drawing of a person really quick. Yes, of course, Otaku. Feel free. Give me one second, guys. I'm uh, Googling something really quick. I'm trying to find something good to look at here. Just looking for a person reference. I should have just uh, did this on uh, DeviantArt. Try to find something that's not going to give me trouble on uh, uh, Twitch either. Because not that they're bad, these are actual references, but they're still like... People. Okay, here we go. Here's a good reference. Just random reference image. Looks like it's on Tumblr. I don't know who really did credit on this, so I do apologize. But I found this just really quick on Tumblr, and I'm using it as a reference, okay? So if you were to... whoops. Man, all my stuff is messing up right now. Whatever. Anyway. Bye, Tofu! Okay, so. Moving on. Okay, I hit a button again, and my stuff is going crazy. So give me one second, guys. I'm going to fix it really quick. Close all of this. Yes. Photoshop's just acting weird. All of my buttons were a little messed up here, so give me... There we go. Alright, Photoshop's rebooting. Rate my drawing grin. <laughs> nice stick figure. I like it. Okay, there we go. My buttons have gone back to normal now. I don't know why it does that every once in a while. Okay, so here's this person, right? We've taken it just for reference and for learning, all right? This is only for learning. You're not gonna claim this art as your own. This is for figuring stuff out, all right? So, all right, we're gonna have the head. We're gonna have that front line like we would for when we're drawing the face and forward, right? And then we're gonna draw out where his eyes are, okay? Now this is a little hard because he's got that bag over it, but we're gonna think about it. We're gonna be like, okay, so his neck's probably like right about here. Because of what's going on. We're just gonna block this out, guys, okay? I need you guys to start doing this, okay? Start thinking about where everything is at. So like here's the top side of his shoulders. Start making him the simple shapes. Make your building blocks for what's going to work for you, okay? And really think about that body. Okay, so this is like the side of him, right? We got like his shoulder right here, okay? And then his elbow's here, and then his wrist is right here. So we're just gonna kind of figure out how these shapes work. Cool, okay, so like from here to here, from here to here. Oh, okay, look at, look at how even that is actually going out there. That's interesting, isn't it? His knuckles go to about here, right? Here's the thumb. Okay, that's interesting. Look at how the thumb goes off on its own. Here's the pinky. Let's see here, let's how, ooh, okay. So his hands kind of make this shape. That's interesting, because it's kind of mitt-like. Cool. All right, all right. So here's the front, like, he kind of bends a little bit right here. Oh, look, hey, there, I found, I found his chest here. All right, cool. And then here's about mid torso. Cool, all right. And then hey, look, I'm gonna start blocking out doing this thing. So it looks like his shoulder's right about here again. Cool. About two. There's his elbow there, wrist. Okay. 
Oh, cool. Look, this kind of evens itself out. You guys are building shapes off of this, okay? This is how you're going to start figuring out how to make bodies so that later, when you don't have this reference or you don't have exactly the reference that you want to, you're trying to go off of a couple things, but you want to change some new stuff, you can really just go, oh, okay, I can figure this out because I know the basic building blocks that I have made for myself, right? This will also help you understand how perspective works. Cause see, look at how his leg is in, in space here. Look at how his leg works right here. Like here's, here's his actual his ankle right here. Right? But the um, back part of his foot there, right here. This is where his toe's at. Okay, cool. For great science. Wolf King, thanks for that follow. And Mayhem King, welcome to the stream, babe. Sorry guys, like I said, I'm trying to give you guys kind of a good idea. So a lot of you guys need to start doing this. I want you guys, I want a lot of you who are struggling with proportions to start breaking apart these pieces that I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you work on your face, work on your shoulders, work on your chest, work on your knees, feet, stuff like that. Go look up references or go take pictures of yourself in the mirror, okay? and start breaking down these basic shapes so that you know what you're working with and how you can start then drawing torsos or shoulders or whatever oh, because now you've broken it down into the simplistic easy style for you to be able to understand and block everything out as you go okay hip knee ankle all about the same like, you're going to start figuring this stuff out when you break it down, okay? you got to break oh, it down. Science. Break it down, make it easy, and then put the really tough, excruciating details into there. Because once you start doing that and you don't have to change the rest of it, it's because you already blocked everything out. Blocking is amazing. Breaking stuff down into basic shapes is amazing. It's going to help you a lot, okay? Keep practicing on this. That's what... Whoops. Sorry about that. That's what... I want you to start doing, okay? Because, look it, you've got the face right here, but you don't have a neck on him, his shoulders, his arms. Start at one place, okay? Um, Start one place at a time and keep moving up from there. I'd say maybe start working on your head or maybe your shoulder. Start doing some bus shots, okay? Work on, Panda Warrior, I want you to work on bus shots. I want the next piece that you submit to me to be a bus shot. Okay, I want to see what you've practiced off of looking off your reference picture and I want you to show me and credit that reference picture that you find on the internet, okay? Or if you take a picture of yourself. Get that information, try drawing that, come back to me, that's your homework. I want to see that. Other than that, you've got a good idea, you're definitely looking at stuff, you're trying to see some um, what you can do. You just got to start working to know where to place it on your own rather than kind of floundering around off of what you see. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, really quick. I posted this in here and I really recommend it. If you guys are here too and you want to get some information, there's another little area right here called art resources. Anything that I find for painting, for rendering, for proportions, for how to draw feet, hands, blah, 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 blah. You name it, I'm posting it in that art resources area. I recommend you guys find stuff too and anything that you find, go into that art resources and post it as well. That's our information place. That's us learning and knowing where to go from here. So please check it out, okay? Masty. Okay. I think this is really cute. I like the basic shapes. I really like the big head that you've got here and the little body is very chibi feeling. I really want to see these lines cleaned up though. Like, with how clean the eye is here and here, and you've got this nice kind of glow and stuff going on, I want to see that cleaned up. Like, your shapes aren't quite clean. Like, it looks like you're trying to go for it and you just didn't spend the extra time. If you need to use line tools and or even uh, learn how to do uh, vector art, vector art will be very clean on this. I think if you cleaned everything up a lot, it'd feel a lot better, you know? Also, I'm kind of confused. I'm assuming that's his nose. But since we don't have any kind of like shape or an area where a mouth would be, I'm a little confused. So it feels like almost like this could be his mouth and a tooth hanging out, which is then kind of weird because it 
it, it looks a lot like a uh, uh, Bible thump. <laughs> that's that's what it looks like in his little face, like uh, uh, and Bible thump for those of you who aren't uh, Twitch familiar for the recording on YouTube later, uh, is a icon of this little guy just like crying. He's like, so that's what it kind of looks like to me. Clean it up, babe. I think just a little bit of cleanup and thinking again about where each of your shapes are gonna be would really nail it for this. Keep working on that, okay? Lava lot. All right, I'm gonna work on this one for you. This is cute. I like the character. <laughs> he looks so annoyed with his little big eyes and stuff like that. Um. I like the kind of bland colors you've got going on here. I just feel like with the sun and everything, it's a little um too flat. The background is too flat right now. Um, but that's kind of hard to go into a lot of detail. So if you really want to start working on your backgrounds, I'm actually going to go into shades and again, oh, looking up references science. and stuff. Chibi, thanks for that follow. Um, one reference cacti don't look like that at all. That looks like a hairy caterpillar in the background. <laughs> Just say, look up your references of a cacti, of uh, cacti in general, um, or a saguaro cactus would be the exact one for this in case scenario. Also, saguaro cacti would be a lot taller. Uh, well, then again, I guess this is an alien guy anyway, holding a gun. So, references. I want to see references for this. If you're going to, and then if you're going to make it really alien, go crazy with the alien stuff. You know what I mean? Like, if he's going to be an alien gun, go with an alien gun. Or if you want it to look more realistic, then... You know, put everything else in a realistic space here. Uh, the sun can kind of look like that. I like the stylization that you could do with this, with like some of the line work. Um, but it, it, everything else feels kind of flat and there's no stylization to it. So definitely work on some of that and thinking about how your background's gonna be. It's okay, again, to look up references for backgrounds in general to get you kind of a line started. You know what I mean? The gun is really flat. Uh, guns don't work like that. I'm assuming that's supposed to be the barrel, but the barrel is definitely, uh, more rounded. Uh, you're gonna have, like, I like this hard line that you've got here, and it kind of shows the shape, but you don't have a hard line for another section of the circle right here that would give it more shape. Same with the front right here, but you can still see the, the circle of the face going in. I, I don't know gun anatomy. But yes, references of Birthcraft Gaming just said, references are your ultimate power in art, and it's okay to use references. It is not cheating. Yes, just like Birthcraft Gaming just said, references is not cheating. If you're gonna reference it really heavily, you need to, cr you need to give credit, okay? Always give credit to what you're referencing. And then, go into your stuff. Okay, just make sure that you have you have the ability to use that reference so nobody's gonna get mad at you. All right, but yes, reference what a gun looks like. Reference what a belt looks like. You're really close on the belt. Like you've got the buckle that actually goes underneath here. I just wanna see that bump a little bit. I think you need to push your shading. I wanna see because you've got the sun behind him and you've got this coming up, the shades coming out here. That's gonna be really dark shading because you've got that bright contrast of the sun right as it's coming down from a sunset like everything in front of him right here is gonna be really dark and he like i mean really really dark okay we're gonna just gonna really quickly go into this okay so let's hide all the skin new layer come on let me copy a copy image paste image Doop. okay so if you had this i'm just gonna do a quick overlay and it's not gonna look like super amazing or anything okay so i don't mess up your drawing So we're gonna take kind of some of these dull colors that you got going here. I'm gonna move a little bit more into the red contrast so that it um it or it contrasts with this color because he's green, right? Do an overlay, okay, or not an overlay, a uh, multiply layer. Like he's gonna be really dark, but you're gonna have this nice cool like lighting on the side of him. Like I said, it's not gonna be really smooth here. I'm not gonna go like super into detail with a nice brush and everything here.
Like, he's gonna be really dark because of how, like, the shades should be really dark on all of this. Because the lighting coming through is very, 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 very little. Because the sun's right behind him, right? But you have the right idea in some of the areas. You have this really nice, like, light glow of the yellow on the back of them. And I do see that. I just want to see it pushed more. You got to be pushing it just a little bit more. Push it to the limit. Hey, Fatel, what's up? We can turn that down a little bit. So, you, I mean, it's not, like, super crazy dark. But I hope you get what I'm saying here, right? Like, see how much more that pops suddenly? Just by doing that little bit? Like, flat? Now suddenly he's got shape to him. You know what I mean? I mean, even even for this poor shaggy, hairy kill <laughs> caterpillar here, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? Just do that a little bit. Voila! Look at how magical it looks. Okay? So keep working on it. I think pushing that a little bit more... Push that a little bit more, and you definitely do some good with it, okay? Alright, back to... Thou art potato! I love how clean this is. I love the... The shapes of everything. You've definitely got, like... This is... These look meant to be spindly, because we've got this spindly little broom. And very, um... Crafted pieces for everything. Everything feels like a shape that it's supposed to be. So... Even though some of this isn't proportionate, even though her feet are like down the little daggers and her arms are really long, it feels like definitely like a style. And I like that. You did a good job on that. You made sure that all of it played suit to the rest of the deformities to make it something. All right? No, Tofa, you cannot. <laughs> I mean, it could be technically art, but no. Um... I would say some things that you still want to make sure it's a little bit more in proportion. Um, I, you know, maybe making sure that her legs still add up and her hands, like she's got these little hands, but they're like way longer than the rest of her feet. So some of that feels a little odd in some areas where I think at add, actually adding a little bit more proportions to it or proportion it. I just don't know how to draw feet or hands. Well, you played it off really well by making it look like a style. Like, really, you look at how nice and clean everything is. And the nice soft gradients for the underside of the coat, which looks like the light's glowing in a little bit. And then you have the actual light on the back of the coat here. It's just a couple little things that I'm not really, like, uh, I'm not liking a whole lot. But it's something that I can deal with. If you're having problems with hands, again... References, start figuring that out from there, you know what I mean? Alright, so we're gonna hide him back here again. Make this a little bigger. I think some of this could actually be pushed just a little bit more, because you've got some nice solid shades here. Just some of it doesn't quite add up, especially, again, you've got this bright moon back here. So, oops, let's not draw directly onto it. But, okay, so you've got this nice shape here, but I feel like this hair... Like, it's kind of going like this, but this other piece should also be going with the flow, right? If you wanted her hair to kind of, like, do the anime thing a little bit, you could still follow that. But keep the flow still going with the rest of this, okay? So her hair is going to be flowing with that a little bit. And this is what I see, okay? Um, the hands and stuff like that, like, I want these to be a little shorter to follow in style with this. And, or maybe her knees to come up a little bit higher too. Like, her knee would actually come up here. And then this would be longer in general. To fit with the rest of the style that you've got kind of going here, okay? Because it's not a bad style. Do, do not get me wrong. Like, if you don't know how to draw feet and stuff like that, that's fine. You don't have to all the time if it's going to be a style that you're going to do. You still want to learn it eventually. But if you're going to make a style out of something, you don't you don't really have to. Like, you can even make something really simplistic. Like, look, I, I just shaped a foot really quick out of this. Based off the idea that I know. 
And then you can still keep these very basic kind of like hands and stuff like that here. Clean up some of your shape, just a little bit. You know, still still go and start learning some of these proportions because it'll help you with some of these basic shapes and eventually help you with the rest of this, right? It's kind of adding a little bit more there. The, the eyes are definitely off. I don't quite like that. I would say that you want to keep two and making sure that the eyes are lined up, right? So kind of draw your baselines again to make sure that things line up properly. And then again, for the vibrancy of this kind of a drawing, I really want to make sure that I get what you're trying to do, but it is a little weird that the moon is back here and she's her face is so lit up like she's got light in front of her as well. It definitely, like I said, it looks like a promotional kind of style, so people do fudge that just to make sure that the characters show up. Um, but just be careful about that if that's not something that you want to do for later, okay? Always think of where your light source is and where your shades are going to be. Another tip, guys, if you're, especially if you're using, um, oops. if you're using a digital platform, flip your canvas. If you are not, hold your paper up to a light so that you can see a flipped version of it. Because when you flip it, you'll start to see where some of your stuff is. And that's why I say, like, simple shapes like this really translate nicely when you flip them. You know? But I mean, look at how much I changed already in just that little bit. Like, I made her legs a little bit longer, and I put the flow of the hair, and suddenly it went with the flow of the rest of the piece. See how your flow and everything is going this way, and the, the you can feel the wind kind of going back and swooshing back here? Her hair just wasn't following through with that. Okay? Think of that flow. Think of where your, your flow um, lines are going to be. That's, that's what I'd say. Okay, so what I want you to work on next is if you're going to be doing this style, the simplistic, cute style, keep things still somewhat in proportion. Start learning about hands and stuff like that. Even if you're not going to use it for this type of work, that's okay. Still work on it and think about those proportions just to help overall with the piece. Okay? And um, make sure your flow of stuff keeps with. Otherwise, like I said, I really love the simplicity of this. I love how bright it is. It looks made to be this way. I like what you did. It was very, very cute, sweetheart. Unagi, you did another one of this, so I'm going to come back to that later. Pyro Bird did this. This is cool. Another way, guys, to start teaching yourselves shading is by taking a picture that you see, all right, looking at it and trying to depict the values. This is what the values are, okay? Just taking a nice rough brush like this and trying to shade where stuff is at with like two or three colors and then blending it. These are nice. They're fun to work with, okay? Really awesome and fun to work with. I highly recommend it. I love working in values. I love working in gray tone. They were a little bit fat tail. Um, but that's where, again, I was just, like, throwing in the critique, or, uh, making sure that she is, um, you know, he's looking at, uh, proportions for now on and start learning how to do hands. I just wanted to start at one point and then slowly move on. Work a little on the face, the, the arms and stuff like that, and then we'll get down into the hips and everything else, you know? I want to, I want to give everybody, like, there's probably more that I could definitely give to you guys, for sure, but I don't want to overload you. Start at a place, start working up. Give me your next piece and we'll we'll evaluate from that point, okay? Uh, okay, so back to this. I want you to keep practicing this. I actually want you to do another piece just like this, Pyro Bird, please. Um, making sure that you are trying to get all of these shapes in here because it still falls a little flat, okay? Keep, I want you to do like two or three more pieces like this where you're looking at a photo and trying to really get these pieces to pop, okay? Get every single detail that you can into this gray shape. Okay. I I don't have much more to say on that except for that. That's just, like I said, it falls flat. I can't see where the nose is. The face is kind of flat here because you have some of the shapes that start to show up. 
But then the eye, like the eye of a horse starts to kind of like, has this nice rigid area where the eyebrow is, right? They also look at these beautiful long lashes that they've got. The hair can also be a lot more than just this little clump here. The ears are definitely a little bit longer than this. Also, I can't see this ear so much. I know the inside of the ears right here, but this just feels awkward. You know what I mean? Um, like, and I'll, I'll bring up a picture of a horse really quick, so, horse. I'll have to check in a little bit, Silence, I'm sorry. Okay, so, check out this picture of a horse that I found on Google search really quick. Look at how nice and wispy that hair is. Like, I'm gonna really zoom in a little bit here, but I mean, look at the hair. Look at all these different values that you can pick up out of here. See how flat that is in comparison? You could totally pick some of this up where the light comes off and you could see each of the new, of the pieces of the bone structure and some of the veins coming on the, like, they're, they're beautiful. I mean, horses are awesome, okay? You just gotta get some more of that detail in here. I wanna see you push that more. You could have used this dark shape right here and you hardly have any of these dark shades in here at all. Like I see you blend it into here, but it's blend too much. I wanna see this dark area. I wanna see the nostrils come into here. I wanna see the eyes be really evaluated. I wanna see the hair being evaluated. Um, you know, the ears being perked up a little bit more. Think about everything and trying to make it as close to the original of the picture as you can as practice, okay? Work on that. Work on that next, okay? Brown Coat Captain was working on some color study, which I'm not going to really critique on this, but I would recommend that this is a good idea, guys, and where you can actually do color study based off of pictures that you find. Take a picture of a sunset, grab the, the color from it, and then pull it out onto something like this. Find out what colors look good when you blend them together, when you don't blend them together, how it looks when they're direct, like, with this green directly across that, and then how it blends in together. Find out what colors look good and don't look good. I'm not good with color theory, personally. I don't feel like I am. I kind of pick colors and I go. I just know some basic stuff, like, I know that red and green are complementary colors because they're across each other on the, uh, the dial, but... There's some other things that you can actually do, like titrary colors and blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of cool things that you could do, okay? So try some of these, guys. You don't have to draw anything sometimes. You can just do this to figure out some cool stuff, all right? So good on you, brown coat. Keep doing stuff like that. Uh, silence. I am, but I can't scroll down right now or else I'm going to lose my place because I'm, like, getting caught back up. So I'm going to have to look when I get down there. Sorry, sweetheart. Uh, Wheaties. We have, looks like a little Vigar here. Um, Wheaties, I'm gonna tell you the same thing here too. You've got a good idea. You're definitely looking at some of the different details of Vigar. And I know you're looking at each piece because I can see you even looked at and saw the little, um, the little symbols on his staff, the, the crystal and how it floats. You've got these different little spiked areas, the, um, the ballpoint of his, um, his staff. Um, you're kind of trying to figure out how his hat's working, how his face is working, the different details on his coat, the spikes on his coat. You're looking at everything for sure, but you need to figure out how to put it in his face. Keep working on that. Do exactly what I said earlier and start at a specific point. Like, for Vigar, it's kind of hard to say because he's so different in shape. Um, so maybe you just want to start working on some normal human heads. And then, or like even animal faces if you want to do Vigar, because he's definitely like, he's, he's Yordle-esque, we just don't know what he looks like under the hat, so it's kind of hard, you have to think of what his face might be, and put that under the hat, and figure out how that hat sits on that head, you know what I mean? So, work on that, okay? I want to start seeing you do some studies on just like a face, okay? Oh, that's okay, Silence, just making sure. All right, there's a lot of talking here. Oh, they were giving each other hand tutorials and stuff like that. So that's good. More stuff that went into the art resources later. So going back down. Grinning Owl is posting more stuff again. It's just making me so fucking jealous. Um, okay, I see a couple things that call out to me right away. It's not too much and it's very little, but I really like what you got going on here, okay? So let's, uh, let's pull this up and I'll show you really quick. Just what I see. Turn these off really quick. Blow this up here. Okay. 
So first and foremost, the thing that I see is that she's definitely large chested, which I think is okay. I just think you have it probably for her kind of armor. I think it's like a hay armor or something like that. Um, but if it's gonna fall off, I feel like, oops, I need a different color here. Perhaps I should try more. Sabo, thanks for that sub, babe. Thank you so much, honey. I really appreciate that. Thank you so, so much. But yeah, like, sh her boobs are like come way out to here, right? Little too big, I think. Like, even for someone like her. And if they're gonna be like not supported, I still think it should come out to right about here for the rest of her size. Also, we're gonna flip this because I believe, yeah, center of weight, a little off. Her, like the legs and stuff are proper, but everything of her bottom half needs to shift just a little bit because the weight's not even. So that like middle toe area right about there. And then if you still wanted to have that nice proportion in her back where her um Um, who <laughs> totally didn't think that sub icon was bacon the quick glance? Okay. <laughs> um, and then if you still want that nice proportionate, like, back that she has, where, um, you have that curve, right? Sorry, I was reading chat. You can just kind of move her. I'm sorry, I'm messing up your piece just a little bit, but I hope you understand what I'm trying to say here. Her just center, center of balance is just a little bit off. So you can just kind of tilt this back just a little bit more. You could have kept your hands in the same place. But I mean, it's just ever so slight that you're missing that center of balance. I'm trying to make sure I save it. I love how big, like broad shouldered she is with the armor and everything. It definitely does look good. I love your proportions. Your proportions are like so spot on. I love your feet and everything. It's really nice. Oh, you know what? That toe's kind of, well, no, cause she's got the heel. Never mind. I lied. I think it's all right. Yeah, I think everything else is pretty spawn. And if anything, I mean, if you really wanted to fix something else, I think personally her head should be maybe just a little bit bigger. Like the rest of her body is really big. Um, but honestly, I, I kind of like it at the same time. It feels like an elf kind of character with the small heads and a, but she's like different. She's kind of built actually for a mage. I don't know. I feel like there's a story behind her as to why she, she looks like this. But the rest of this is, just really awesome. You just have that minor thing. You did this last time too, is where your your center of weight is just off slightly. And it's something I need to do as well, where I just like, I draw the character's like line here and then the center up. And then I'm like, okay, is my character on that line properly? Is the weight balanced in between from her head to her toes? Cause it's so great. If not, she's gonna fall over, you know? So, but other than that, like beautiful, beautiful work on this for sure. I mean, you're so close on that. It's just little, little tiny bits of things there. So, nice, nice work, for sure. God, I love your stuff. I love the details and all of this. It's so pretty. Glowy, you did an updated version of this, so I'm gonna come back to that when I get to your updated version. Yomu, I'm gonna grab just one of yours, and I want you to definitely give me some other portraits, okay? You're close. Look at how you're, I love what you're trying to do here. You're trying to look at all the details of ears, how the eyes fit on the face. You've even got a little bit of the under eye lid going on here. The eyebrows, the nose. I can see that you're definitely trying to think about it. It looks like Ari um, Ariel, but a little bit more realistic. So you're definitely looking at the chin. You're looking at how lips are. You're looking how the nose shows. It's just a little slightly off. And again, I'm gonna tell you to go back to that blocking face. Do blocking on just the face for right now. Keep working on these portraits until you feel really, really, feel confident in your faces, okay? Because it's off a little bit. Your eyes are a little bit off. They're not proportionate in that sense. 
the nose is too small and also upturned, you're kind of looking at like as if the person was looking up more when you're actually straight on. So this nose would be actually like the nostrils would just be down a little bit more. The, the rounded point of the nose feels right. The lips are definitely off. They should be back almost centered with the face a little bit. Same with the jaw and everything else here. Um, you know, it's just little stuff like this. The neck is a little too thick. The ears are off. Uh, although actually in proportion, just about with the eyes. The eyes and where they should be on the face. So, and then you just want to play with hair a little bit more. But I'd say just keep working on that face. Okay. So, keep, uh, keep working on that. I like what, uh, definitely like what you're trying to do. You did it for both of your characters here. Keep practicing that just keep doing that for a while until you get bored or tired of it all right so hep ah yay hep okay last time we looked at hep's art he was trying to figure out more of his character and also trying to get yordle proportions and last time he was way too tall he was like literally as tall as a human this time way better you definitely put the proportions down um you got the head big head little body thing going on for what yordles usually go for i like it nice job on that you still just need to work on general proportions and thinking about a human and then pushing it down to that that scene. So like I like the little um, the gritting that you have here so that you can put all the lines out where you wanted stuff so you could try to even it out. You definitely did a good idea there. Very good idea there. Um, okay. The, uh, the face and the tusks and stuff like that, you're kind of not... I I'm just going to do something really quick for you here. Just going to show you kind of a Yordle face and how this guy would probably be. So I'm going to copy this image, hide these really quick, paste this up, blow it up. Okay, so your little dude's Yordle face. You need to think about the face as a whole. So he's still got this circle, right? But we're gonna go with, okay, so he's got the big cheeks. So I'm gonna actually draw out these cheeks straight. Kind of an idea here. And then he's got probably fairly big chin. And then he's got, looks like he's gonna have a really big nose. So this is gonna be kind of his muzzle area, the cheeks and stuff like that. See how quickly I already blocked that out, guys? I'm trying to think of these in basic shapes, right? So here's where I think his big nose is gonna be. He's gonna have this big, kind of cheeky, animal-esque look. He goes right into his cheek here. And then he's gonna have his tusks, right? So he's kind of gnar-like. And then he's got the big fluffy cheeks that kind of come in. The eyes are gonna come right off of these cheeks because like, here's my cheekbone, right? All my cheek area here. So we're gonna have these cheekbones, but he's gonna have these little squinting eyes. I'm trying to draw this really quick so I have time for this, right? So I'm splitting it now. What I'm doing as well is I'm gonna think about the roundness of the head again, right? So I do have the back of the head that's gonna come into the rest of the space. He's gonna have, you know, it's kind of fuzzy little self coming into here. Let me start erasing some of this so you guys can see it a little bit better too. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna give him big eyebrows to kind of fit with this character. You have to learn to read through your uh, your building lines as well, right? But you guys get what I'm saying though about building up so that you have your built lines so you know where stuff is gonna go. And see how quickly that that made I don't know anything about this character I'm just going off of what I see and I made shapes to figure out how to work with this character so I've got his little lip here no I'm, I'm adding other little details it's a little off but I'm trying to play with it as quick as I can really quick so then okay so his ears aren't going to be showing, so we're going to try to follow the shape of his head. 
to make this cap fit them. I'd have to look up a reference of a hat here, so I'm sorry it's gonna look a little awkward. I don't know how the bill really works. So apologies for not looking up the information that I just told you guys to look up, but I'm trying to be quick about this so I can get around to everyone. And hats usually have this like kind of adjustable area right here. Little snapbacks, right? If he's got a snapback, so I'm gonna assume that. These are sonic noises. I like it. Okay, so. Big shapes. Working with the shapes to make the character. But look at what I'm doing right here, okay? So I know that his cheeks attach right here, but he's still got the back of his head. Here's what you're not doing. You're not giving him the shape of his face, all right? You need to start thinking about that for that and the rest of his body, but I'm just working with his face right now. Just work on making this character's face, all right? And there you go. But see, look, now he's got shape to his actual head because you can see this is the back of his head. And then we know that this is gonna be his uh, tiny, really tiny little shoulder space and neck here. All right, shoulders, and then we'll work on the rest of it, okay? But yeah, here's the back of his head. You wanna make sure that you're giving shape to these characters, making sure that each of their shapes really show through to give the characters depth off of these basic shapes. All right, I'm sorry, that was really quick. I would have to work on his shoulders and everything to make it feel a little bit better. So. Something like that. Anyways, so moving on, okay? That's, that's what we want to start thinking about. That's what I want you to start doing next. Start building up on this character, okay? Start getting shapes to fill into a space rather than just this flat headed, like you know what you want for that, okay? We'll keep moving on. So anyway, moving on. I hope that made sense and hopefully it'll make sense for the rest of you. Pyro, we just did a critique for you, but I'll tell you really quick here, okay? Try to do one per person for every time that I do this. Definitely good job looking at, it looks like you're looking at some references here. Keep doing that. Keep, yes, you're doing it right here. You're trying to make and make these shapes and building up. Keep practicing that as well, okay? Keep practicing that, okay? Keep doing these sketches, breaking down these characters and thinking of them so that you can start getting these proportions better, okay? Because you looked at it, you're trying to understand it and keep doing it until you do understand it where everything in these lines starts making sense. Make connecting lines, find out where, why does the shoulder, why does your collarbone move into your shoulder? How does it connect? Why does it connect? What lines does it connect with? What part can you start connecting in your base sets of drawings to understand and make sure you know every single time where this muscle's gonna be, where this muscle's gonna be, where your elbow's gonna be. Why does your elbow connect the way it does? Think about these things when you're making your base um, shapes so that you can make the building blocks to these things, okay? Keep working on that, good job. I want all of you to do that. All of you. Okay, here's Glowy's more recent. Um, and I was talking to you a little bit, bit about this earlier, sweetheart. You say you don't know where to go next with it. And I think, I think as a flat drawing, it looks okay. Other than back here is too shaded. Unless you want to go more shaded. And then, yeah, right? Ooh, look at my, my muscles. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Sorry. Um, the... I think the flat with light gradient looks really nice. But if you want to do a more animated look for your coloring, then you can. And what you're gonna want to, make sure that all of your shades is nice and clean. Make sure these back areas are definitely, like you've got this darker area for the scarf. 
Make sure the dark area of the hair does the same thing and make sure this hair only has, instead of these really nice like gradient shades for each thing, you're just gonna wanna do that with the shading and then do a one flat gradient with it, okay? Look at what kind of styles you like and how you want to color and that's gonna make more sense. Also, if you wanna do highlights with it, then start adding some highlights and making sure that it'll make sense as well. Um, I know you're working really hard on this. Keep working on your proportions as well. Um, same thing goes, it's like I was telling everybody else, it's something you want to work on. So maybe thinking about how the eyes are going to fit up because they're way too far apart right now. Um, you know, the jaw and everything here, although you tried to get this cheek, it doesn't quite... <laughs> yeah, you guys are totally breaking my train of thought. Um, it doesn't quite add up here, okay? All right, so here's what I'm gonna do from here. Like I said, sweetheart, I think a little bit of highlight in here, start adding a little bit of um, highlighted color. Cause I know you wanna work on your colors, so that's definitely fine if you wanna work on that right now, but work on some proportions as well and just your bust and the, um, the face. Okay, think about where your shoulders and everything gonna be. Some things are definitely out of proportion there, but I already explained a lot of that earlier. Um, you know, Think about where your lighting source is gonna be and then try to add just a little bit of shine and highlights on here. And like I said, find a style that you really like that looks close to this and try to emulate that into your work and see if that's something that you want to keep using or if you wanna pick up some other styles and other references later that you could put into your coloring style and then make something out of them, okay? Good work though, like I said, I like the flat colors. I really do actually, it all feels very nice with that. I just wanna see like the, this back here follow through with that as well. And I, maybe if you're gonna do that, just do a light highlight. Bye, Sevo. Okay, sweet I will. Okay, guys, what I'm gonna do really quick, I'm gonna take a quick break because we've already gotten an hour in and I've just barely scratched the surface. So we're gonna keep going. But I'm gonna split this up as well so that this is part one of video and then part two is coming up in a second, okay? So we've got our hour mark right here. I'm gonna cut it, take a quick break, and then we'll come back and keep catching up with you guys. I've got 53 new messages though. Woo! We got a long way to go tonight. All right, so part one, let's all take a break, take a breather, get up and stretch a little bit. I'll be back in just a moment, okay? For those of you who are gonna see this on YouTube, go ahead and proceed to part two and we'll see you over there. I'll be right back, guys. All right, we are back with part two of Critique Power Hour. I'm now up to 61 messages, so let's get this show on the road as quickly as possible. Next up is Anagi Boys, which I told you I would get back to with your work in progress. Dude, this is starting to look really cool. Like I was saying to break stuff down into basic shapes, you're definitely doing awesome.
Um, Tofu, I might be able to, although I'd prefer if it was you doing the, like, if it was a critique for you or if your friend was here to do that. But yeah, Tofu, you're doing an off, or Tofu, I'm sorry, Unagi, you're doing a really good job thinking about each of those shapes and how they're going to be in place. They're all just a little off, and I'm going to try to tell you and explain to you what to look out for for later, okay? Um, just something to think about really quick for later. Uh, turn these off real quick. And this is a hard thing to grasp. I'm not very good at either. Okay. I'm still trying to grasp it myself. What? Copy image. There it is. Okay. Oh, uh, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Okay. So the thing you want to be careful of is your vanishing point and your vanishing point for at least this building is following pretty much this line right here, okay? So we're gonna really quickly kind of follow this. Uh, and I'm, I'm gonna try to show you this the best that I can. I'm actually gonna make this smaller. Just kind of move this here. So like your, your horizon line's like way down here. And this is something really hard to kind of grasp. Like I said, I'm not very good at it myself. But this is gonna also kind of start going down from about here to this vanishing point line over here. This to about this, no. This to... I, I can't really find that vanishing point, but do you kind of get what I'm saying here? Like, you gotta think about where your vanishing point is and follow suit with that. And some of these aren't quite doing that. It's mostly this back building right here that isn't following that same vanishing point, even though it is on the same vanishing point, you can tell. Like, these lines right here kind of spit up. You also have a secondary <laughs> vanishing point, which you are following, which is this one right here. You're doing a two-point perspective. And this is hard to keep up with, right? I, I can't even follow through the rest of the line. So here's your second point perspective that you're trying to follow with, which is a little bit closer here. Which, uh, these ones aren't the, uh, the built back building isn't really following hardly at all. Uh, because it's gonna look a little funky, right? So, maybe you even have a third point perspective that follows this one specifically. I don't know, but either way, the entire background doesn't quite all add up. So it's something that you really want to think about in, like, your thumbnailing process and kind of nail that out. Or, I think there's actually programs out there that you can build little mini 3D stuff that you can reference for yourself. I need to look it up again. I will try to put it into, as I said, uh, the, um, the art references area right here the art resources i'll try to put that up if i can find it again um i guess i was really looking into it of building really basic blocks just so that i could stop stop losing my three-point perspective which is okay to do that you can actually build your own references or find references to make sure that you're following these vanishing points rather than trying to making it yourself because it's kind of tough to do that by yourself all the time um and you know especially in computer land so it's a really advanced thing to think about. Like I said, I'm not very good at it myself and I kind of struggle with some of it, but you're kind, you're close. You're just not quite getting to it. It's called Design Doll and it's free. Okay, I will look into that. Thank you, Otaku Burrito. So yeah, I like, remember what I told you last time? I said watch about the each and every single piece right here. You're working on that. Awesome job. I appreciate that for each of your characters going on here too. They're really cool looking. Uh, sorry for dog. But yeah, like, you're definitely trying to do that here. Your characters are still off slightly, but you're trying to make improvements there. So I definitely give you some props, sweetheart. You're you're working on it, and I really appreciate that. Now, what you said, though, is that you don't know how to color it. What I would recommend... That's only good for 3D character models. Oh, okay. Thank you, Don Art. Yeah, I think there was something else. I don't remember what the one where you can build, like, actual, like, backgrounds. Like, you can build classrooms and buildings and... Um, it's better to use Google Sketch Up, which you can make buildings and stuff. Also free. Okay. Awesome. Sketch Up then, guys. We're going to look into Sketch Up, and we're going to look into, um, what was it? Uh, da 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 Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Design Doll. Design Doll and Sketch Up. So, Okay. Now to color it, what I would recommend is doing flat colors 
figure out how things are gonna look, even like doing a grayscale maybe first. There's a lot of different ways that you can start coloring something, right? So you can start doing a grayscale, figure out how you want each of your things oh, to great. look in tones. I'm just gonna like blob on it really quick here, but literally you can like Let's do okay, oh no. There we go. Just do a quick multiply. But, I mean, you can do a really quick idea of how each of these things will be here for where your light source is going to be. So let's say the light source is all right here behind them, right? So it's going to be behind these buildings, so it's going to kind of kind of shine down on them a little bit. But for the most part, it's going to be kind of this back, this almost backlighting area. So this is going to be a little bit lighter right here. Try to tone everything out, and then what you could do on top of that is then do another overlay or, um... A multiply or stuff like that to be able to color it, okay? There's a lot of different ways to color, it's just how you want to color it. And I, I can't really say yay or nay to any which way that you would want to do that. I like toning stuff first, so I kind of know how my colors, um, should be picked, if that makes sense. So that you know how things are going to pop. So we're going to play with each of these characters a little bit. I'm just going to try to quickly tone everything out. I think I drew... Yeah, I drew directly onto the character. So, oops. Sorry about the red lining. And this back here would be... A little bit lighter. This would be a little bit darker. I'm not doing exact tones either, but I hope you get the idea, right? So I'm toning to figure out where my light source is coming from, how things are going to start trying to, like, float into that background. Stop by and say hi and thank you for all the Yordle crew. And yeah, no problem, Butters. Good at stream today with the pumpkin carving. I liked it, dude. So, okay. But see how that's already starting to pop a little bit and kind of get the idea of how uh, the the shapes are going to be a little bit. Just getting kind of an idea from there. And then you can really start getting into each of these characters and making sure all of your shades and highlights and stuff are where they need to be. And then what you can do is once you have everything toned out how you want to properly and what have you, um, you can do another layer on top that is, I believe you can do a multiply. I haven't done this in a while. Um, yeah, you can start multiplying just right on top of this, and this will actually follow your color references. So, see that? I just said a multiply, and voila! Like, the color's there, already on top of it. And it's gonna work with your, uh, your colors. Ooh! Itched my eye a little too hard there, probably just smeared makeup. Oh well. So, if you wanted that, like, nice blue background but the buildings are meant to be red like you can literally color right on top here you know and do what you need to with it so there's ways to do stuff I mean it's just you got to think about it. do you want to use multiply do you want to color it yourself uh, how do you want to figure out the tones how do you want everything to look think about it okay think about how everything you want is gonna look put your base colors down and then start playing with it I I am kind of the worst uh, it's the same thing. You just set it to multiply. There's, um, there's layer settings and SAI for a multiply. So just look for that for layer multiply. So you could try that. Um, that's one way to color. So, I mean, I would look up ways of coloring and rendering Unagi. That's a, that's a really, uh, riddled thing. And I can't just tell you one way or another because it could change very, very, very frequently from one artist to another. Okay. Uh, SADS. Moving on. P sets, this is really cool. Uh, I can tell you right now, I know what brush you used for this because it's one of the brushes that I have with the chain links. It's really cool and everything, but it's overdone here. Like, all the chains, you didn't do anything to add to the chains. Make sure that you do that, 
okay? Because they don't really know what's kind of going on here, and they all seem like they're flat on top of each other. Some would actually be closer, further away. They wouldn't actually, like, be smudged together, if you know what I mean, right? Um, so just something to kind of think about. I think it's just too many chains altogether that it wouldn't really fit in the space. Uh, and it also takes away from the character details that you've got going on here. If you really want that to pop on top, see these nice white lines that you've got and stuff going on here? You want to be able to pull that onto it. I love the details that you have in the character. You just kind of really took it away with this overlay of random chains kind of going on. It doesn't, it's not adding up to what this character is for me. Okay. Um, just be careful about how you do that, I'd say. Other than that, like I said, I love the details of the characters. I want to see more of that. I want to see more detail in here. And I want you to go back and think about all of the character proportions as well. Um, and then even some designing portions where you take and you have your, you're working on your proportions, right? And then you could try copying that face like four or five times over and then drawing on top of that for different things of how your character's design is gonna look. Start thinking about that. Start, think really hard about how each of those portions of armor are gonna fit on her and why those chains are all around her and stuff like that and how those chains would fit on her, okay? I know that was a quick one, but I hope that makes sense. I, like I said, I wanna see more. I wanna see more about this character. Give me more about what is going on with this character because it's really flat right now. And I want to know what's going on with her because the chains are completely taken away from it. Like I'm trying to cover it and just think about who she is, why she's chained up, what's going on with her face, what kind of details are supposed to be here. It looks like kind of a jester's hat, something. I'm not, I'm not sure. It looks like it's supposed to be a girl. It's got kind of a little bit more of a rounded figure, but I could very well be wrong because the chains again are taken away from it. I want to see more. Maybe just come back to me with like a, a bust shot from her shoulders up. I'd love to see that. Okay, Sads? But other than that, Keep up the good work. I want to see more. Give me more. Give me more. All right. Dream Fiction drew this up. Very nice. Um, I'm going to go into the same thing here. And I'm sorry. It's going to be another quick uh, critique here. Because you need to be working on the same thing. I'm going to say again. Work on just a bus shot for you. Or start working on what... Um, who did it earlier. Do what like Pyro Bird did. I want you to start working on some stuff that like what Pyro Bird did of looking at references and drawing those out or just starting on the face and drawing references of faces so that you can start getting these proportions done. You've got a good idea. You're starting to think and look at how the clothing folds and everything are. You're thinking about where buttons are. You're looking at even where the sewn line is for the button inlining. Um, you're thinking about where lips and teeth and nose and everything is supposed to be. It's just not in proportion. You need to look at real life to be able to start adding to that. Start working on that, okay? That's your homework. I want to see more of that before you start adding too much more detail from here. But it's a good start. It's a very good start of a foundation. It's time to take the next step, okay? 42! Ha! <laughs> very nice. I've seen... I know you looked at this somewhere. I've seen it before. I'd have to find it again. Um, it's literally just from the splash art, I think, though. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, it's just the zero splash art um, flip. So that's good. It's definitely good to look at the references of it. I like the horns that you added to it. Actually, it reminds me of uh, Skull Greymon. Or not Skull Greymon. Um, War Greymon. Sorry. Looks like War Greymon right now because of the, the shape and then the horns added to it. Uh, so... Rhino's ear is what you named it. <laughs> um, you know, it's good to add that, but you want to be careful. I want you to start thinking about, like, it looks like kind of like you might have traced over parts of it, too. Um, I'm not super into tracing personally, and I would recommend probably staying away from it. Hey, I am a huge Digimon fan, okay? You can't, you can't get that away from me. Anyway. <laughs> um... I wouldn't recommend tracing. I would recommend drawing your own stuff and adding to it. Okay. Um, like looking off of it is okay, but tracing over top, I don't feel like it's going to teach you too terribly much from there. And I want you to, want you to start drawing your own, looking outside of that. Cause it definitely looks like you looked at some of the other details. <coughs> Excuse me. And I like what you did in some of the areas, I like some of the shading that you were taking from it as well. Just, just move a, a I want to see something else because you drew something that you've looked at or you traced from. 
and I want to see something that you drew to look at. So, but it's a really good job looking at and finding the shading where the, like, where the shade comes from the horn is really nice, but the horn doesn't quite blend in with the rest. Like, this is actually not going to be just black and white. It's actually going to reflect, that white's going to reflect some of that orange in there, right? So, I love the highlights against the armor where you've got that on the same thing too that you are definitely trying to pull from the art there too. Keep working on that. I want to see that in your own something else different. It's really nice though. Good job. Keep it up. Toast, this is hilarious. I love how simplistic. I love, guys, it's totally okay to draw cartoon characters like this as well. And it's a good thing to try to critique as well. You don't have to go super realistic all the time either, okay? Look at the shape of the chin that he went with here. Look at the shape of the rounded face. Each shape of the hair follows with itself, even though it's got a little differentiation in the tip of the hair. It all follows through. All the lines follow through really well. The rounded, almost like you could definitely tell like the rest of his shape would still be kind of like a, uh, maybe an eggplanty kind of look. You know, a very simplistic neck. I like it. I like how simplistic all the shapes are and I like how everything would be really clean if you weren't drawing it on. It looks like a eraser board, so that's kind of tough to do. I want to see that like super vector clean. That's just me personally. So I like what you did. It's a very cute job and I want to see you practice more with that. It's a cool idea, dude. Not really digging the ear and hair at the moment. Uh, yeah, the ear you might want to bring down a little bit more. Uh, the hair, I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. Like it's just something crazy, but why not design something else with it then, you know? Like what else do you really want to do with it and why? Um, so. Uh, the ear you probably pull in like where his hair is pull the hair in just a little bit more to about here and the ear about where the hair is And that'll definitely clean it up a little bit more make it feel a little bit more proportionalized um, Yeah, other than that I think it all I think it's all really cute. I really like the style Okay, I didn't see the other one from you. I thought somebody else posted this one so I'll go quick into this one uh, same thing applies to you here. I'm not quite sure. Looks like it's a crossbow on her back. Uh, the detail's a little lost because how is it sitting there? Like, I want to know if something's there, if it's meant to be, like, a piece of armor or something. So, um, you definitely want to be able to, uh, draw some kind of a strap. Think about how everything's really going to sit on her. Like, why is her sword just kind of sitting right there? Um... Why is just this sitting on her? Why is that just clipped there, the little jewel? Like, really think about how everything's gonna be on her and why. Uh, be careful about, you know, your, um, if you're gonna be simplistic lines and simplistic shapes, that's fine, but make sure it follows because her neck is completely lost, same with her shoulder. All the body proportions are really lost with the simplicity of this because you're not sure where you wanted to put it. You didn't draw the whole body out. You drew what you wanted to be there without drawing the body out first. Always draw the body out first before you put clothes on, guys, okay? So think about that next time you go into the work. Other than that, I like the colors. I like the idea. I just want to see more to it so that I know a little bit more about this character and what's going on with her. That would make sense. All right, we're finally moving on to the rest of the stream stuff, and I'm slowly going to be catching up. I will do my best of what I can get through today. Guys, I'm really sorry. Gonna, 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 gonna try. Gonna get a try, gonna get a try. Um, so, Pika Swallow, I can definitely see that you looked off of a screen cap for this, which is pretty funny. I love Full Metal Alchemist. Um, good try on it. Definitely good try. Excuse me, I'm having hiccups all of a sudden. Um, the line art, I feel is really kind of sketchy and it feels like you didn't quite follow up. Like if you're going to do these nice, dark, thick lines, this area of Ed would actually be a lot darker in lines. And these, this area on, um, or, oh my God, I'm mixing. Anyways, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> I'm good. It's been a while since I've watched my FMA, so I'm, I'm a little derpy. What did I say? Did I call him Ed or Al? And I don't remember. Anyway. The lines up front would be thicker. The lines back here would be thinner. It gives a sense of, um, space. I know I do kind of need Red Bull. Like, I'm, I'm a little tired right now. It's been a long day. But here, watch. Check this out real quick. Okay? 
It's a kind of a style that I learned from inking and kind of like an anime as uh, style as well. Is if you thicken these lines up in the front here for a character that's up here, especially because he's so angry right now. You know, he's got that super pissed off face. So you can have kind of a little bit more of a shaky, thick line kind of going on. But for anything that starts to fall into the background, that thinner line is going to help push him back into the back. Keep cleaning up your lines right now. Start feeling, it looks like you're using a tablet uh, that you're probably not quite used to yet. And I want to see you start cleaning that up a little bit. Practice more with your tablet before you start doing too much more. And then start doing, like I was telling everyone else, pick a study that you want to start on first. Like heads, bodies, proportions. Do human, realistic ones. And do some anime ones as well. It's okay to look at some references and ideas of anime. So that you can figure out what kind of style you want to go with later. But you need to do realistic uh, human ones just as much, okay? Don't shy away from it. It will help you so much. But see how much uh, the foreground suddenly got pushed and the background is now behind. So you can see that this is back here. We could probably even add like a little bit of a white line or something around them to really make them pop just a little bit more. Okay. Now, something like that, but see how it's kind of pushed a little bit more now? It's popped a little bit more? It's something to think about, okay? Uh, so be careful of that, but other than that, I like what you're trying to do. Keep moving up to your next step to start pushing you away from looking at stuff and start trying to do it on your own. And uh, I really want to see you get a grasp more of your medium before you push too terribly far, okay? Keep sketching, keep practicing, keep doing little things to start really getting down where the pressure sensitivity is, how that's gonna work for you and so on. Good job, good try, keep working on it, okay? Oblivion did this really cute um, wolf and lamb kindred drawing. Uh, I'm a little confused by some of it because again, the background's really, really flat. Something that's really hard to think of. Um, I, the, I'm not sure what's going on with this background here. It looks like a cave in the woods. Like you've got this thick line, but then you have like the trees kind of half in here. You line the one tree, but not the other trees. You line the apples, but not the outlines of the leaves. It's confusing. Okay. Um, think about that as you're working on stuff and uh, start thinking about if you want to draw background, start practicing just a background and then putting characters into a background. Or if you want to just practice characters, practice the characters. But take it one step at a time. Don't try to keep throwing everything all together, okay? It's kind of tough to do that on yourself. Um, proportions on Lamb are a little weird. Same with Wolf a little bit, but Wolf is just a glowing, floaty wolf ghost thing. Like, you can't really do too much on the proportional side of him. So it's okay overall. I think it's mostly Lamb, which I know we have a solid figure of her, is hard to work with, especially when you've got this crazy goat, like, lamb, goat, hoof thing that she's got. That's hard to work with. I've done it a few times on stream, but I'll help kind of give you an idea to think about for later. Remember what I was saying about um, one of the other critiques earlier where I said find your center of balance? Something to think about again. Oop. So, okay, let's actually use this, not such a light color. So your center line, right? And then character. She's gonna kind of have I'm just doing this really quick again. So, okay, there's my there's my center. Now, what I said about uh, these kind of legs before, okay, is that, okay, here's a normal human leg, right? Here's your knee, your calf, ankle, heel, foot, right? Okay, so really quick, foot. What their kind of feet is an extended version of this. So you're gonna have hip, knee, heel, and ankle. Ankle and heel kind of goes right here. So here's the calf and stuff like that. 
knees right about here. And then the, this is actually a portion of their foot, so what they're standing on is their tippy toe. Okay, so this part right here is what this is, okay? And you have to think about that when drawing this because it will help you. I'd have to actually look at like how Lamb's actual feet, I think it's just a hook that it goes down into. Which the hooves are technically like their toenails. So they're, they're literally standing on their toenails, right? That's, that's what it kind of does, and that's basically how you, how you have to think about it when you're working on that, okay? So, same thing applies, thinking about how that works into shape, uh, works into basic shapes. Making those basic shapes, making sure the center is there, right? Getting her basic idea down, where her hips and everything are going to be. This is a little bit off, but I'm trying to rush it. Shoulder, head, and she's got that huge, like main thing going on. Then her wolf mask or whatever. Then she's got these like crazy kind of huge hands and whatever. So anyway, that's kind of the idea that you're going for here, okay? Just start practicing this kind of idea so that you can get the basic shapes of it down a little bit better, get the weight of it down a little bit better, and try doing the the the, po the poses yourself too. Think about how you would actually hug someone like that. You're pretty close, but she's like really straightforward and then her, her arms are twisted. You know what I mean? So um, think about that, okay? And try to take things one step at a time. Although it's really cute, everything that you tried to do here, it all doesn't make sense. The background doesn't make sense to me it, at, in the slightest. Also with wolf and lamb just randomly standing in the forest with a bunch of apples in the background, stuff like that. What, think about where their scenario is going to be and stuff like that. Take things one step at a time. Work on your character proportions first or just work on backgrounds and then start trying to um, finagle with the two of them together, okay? Next, we have Toast working on a Nightmare Foxy costume. I have the job built other than the teeth, sealing, and painting. Starting the rest of the head soon. I want to see more of this before I say too much. I'm not going to really critique this right now because it's just the base of the jaw. But I really can't wait to see what you're going to do with this. Um, toast. I, I, yeah, I can't critique it now because it's too little information for me to see enough of where, like, how the teeth are going to be. Because the bottom of the jaw is pretty simplistic. Um, but that's just based off of, like, I need to see all the teeth in there. I want to see the secondary jaw in there. And then I want to start seeing the base top of the head. So once you start getting more to that, I can't wait to see more, dude. Oh, wait. You have another... Oh, okay, no. I'm not going to critique it until I see more. It's too early. Definitely too early, but I can't wait to see more, okay? Toast! The mushroom. <laughs> An attempt at a mushroom-ish yordle. I, we were joking about that earlier, so I don't know if you really want me to take that seriously or not. I'm sorry. We were joking about it, honestly, earlier. Uh, proportions, color, uh, everything's a little flat. But it's a, it's a cute idea, to say the least. So I'll just leave it at that. Um, Burst, this is so cool. Mitch and Mubburn, welcome to the stream. Sorry, I'm trying to definitely say. I really hope so, Mystery, uh, Mysterious Chaos. Burstcraft, this is so fucking good! God! Um... Somebody said it looked like Fiddle earlier, and I wanna I wanna find out. Is that Fiddle? Yes, Arctic Ops Fiddle, my own design. Oh, it's so cool! Heads up, that's Arctic Ops Fiddle Sticks, and his scythe is supposed to be an ice pick. Okay, I can kind of see that. Um, I think in this to try to get like, I love how the owl looks. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this really quick. I'm gonna turn all this off here. Come on, copy image. So, first, this is so fucking cool, dude, okay? I love the owl. I love the top-down look you've got going on here. 
Um, I love the arm and everything. I feel like some of it's just off, mostly in the feet, and that's because these top downs are kind of hard to work with. But I think you could probably get away with it if you were to like try to draw this out a little bit more. Also, for future, I would recommend instead of directly at it, if you're trying to make sure that this is an ice pick, you might want to turn the hand and arm just a little bit more to the side. So we just see a little bit more of this piece and really push it a little bit more. Okay, so we're gonna have like the the pick and everything come down this way. And like push it way more. Like here's his hand here. Really make this bigger. You know what I'm saying? That way we'll get a little bit more detail. We'll see that it's an ice pick and try to push that more. I think it with the hips here it's bothering me what's okay okay oh yeah his center center of gravity is off slightly too man i do this a lot too i don't realize did your clock break yeah it has been a long time how you been so i would say i think i need his one leg to move out this way just a little bit more and then his, his feet are too big and his knees aren't long enough, I think is what it kind of is and why the force perspective feels a little off to me. I know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure it out here right now. His head's also turned a little bit too much. Nah, then he feels too stiff. I lied. That's fine. His bottom is really weird. So, and I don't, I don't know. I don't see Fiddles really wearing the pants so much. <laughs> like, it'd be kind of weird because he is just a fiddle dicks. I mean, fiddle sticks, sorry. Shh, sorry. Uh, man, I don't know. His, I, I'm really bad with this force perspective with feet. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really bad with feet. So I can't really tell you. I'm gonna be really bad trying to explain this and how I want to see it. I just like the idea. I think the biggest thing I, I want to see change, because you could probably, like I said, you could probably get away with this by slowly fading it out into the actual drawing itself, because <laughs> I, I would cheat it, honestly. I'd have too much of an issue to where I'd cheat it, um, is make this hand just a little bit bigger, because he's, he's really bulky right here, and I like that, but I want to see some of that bulk somewhere else. And then I want to see this hand turned out a little, just a little bit more to get more of that idea of a sickle uh, going on here. And I think, and just like really pushing that perspective just a little bit more. Uh, maybe even to the point where you push his legs under him a little bit more. I don't know. It's kind of hard to work with. I've really had to spend a really long time trying to get all this right. Probably even actually I had to go get like, I would have to go tell my mom to go stand up like this. I'd stand on top of the couch and like look down and take a picture of her so I could get the fucking feet and everything down right. Um, it's just that little bit, just that little bit that's bothering me. It's just like, his face is tilted slightly. It's just, just slightly off, just ever so slightly off. And I just want to see that fixed a little bit, but honestly, everything that you did on this was so damn good. I love all the little details. I love the movement of him. I can feel... I lolled up the fucking feet. <laughs> um, like, I love the the cloth effect that you've got going on here. Like I said, I love how good the owl came out and rendering. That's really hard to kind of draw. And you can really see, you can feel the flap of the wings and, like, how it's coming to land on his, um, his arm. Everything's really awesome. I love the design idea. Nice job, dude. Seriously. Very nice job. I, I can't really say much. Okay, we got a lot more to go. So, Atomics. Um, I'm gonna be kind of quick on this. It looks like you liquefied, you took a picture probably somewhere and liquefied it with a filter on Photoshop. Careful about doing that, you can get, actually get in trouble for it. And uh, the filters are very well spotted uh, when it comes to Photoshop, so be careful about that. Um, but, with the character, like I was telling a lot of other people, I'm gonna be pretty quick on you uh, because it's kind of the same thing that I'll be repeating. I wanna see you practicing either, um, I wanna find, find 
a bunch of different artists that you like their style and try to emulate what they do with eyes and faces and hair and stuff like that. And I want you to think about human proportions and how to put those into place. Do another bus shot like this by looking off of a reference and thinking about the style of your favorite artist and putting that into place, okay? Um, because everything's really flat right now. I like the general idea. It looks like it's meant to be kind of like a selfie with his, uh, the arm coming up. It, it looks like they're trying to take a selfie right now. I'm sorry. I hope that's what you're going for, but I'm not quite sure. Um, and, uh, I just, I, I want to see a little bit more. I want to see the proportions and stuff kind of going on here. I want to see more of the shading with the hair and, uh, where your light source is coming from. There's a lot of, a lot of little stuff here. You just need to start making your next, um, your next step. Okay. So keep working on it. Okay. I think you'll definitely be good. Um, you just need to pick your next thing and move up from there. Car gas. This is pretty good. Dude. Um, I like what you did. Um, I love, I mean, we obviously, uh, know the character. Um, and I've seen so much of her around. I'm sorry guys, I'm starting to get a little winded. So, um, I'm probably gonna have to end this soon, but anyway. Oh, okay. Nice silence. Okay, okay. Um. Car gas. I think, sorry, I'm trying to think here and get my brain back together. I am getting a little winded because this is going on my second hour here. I think that I want to, yeah, it's gonna be kind of the same thing for you here. I like what you did. I like, like you were definitely trying to go with her eye style, her hairstyle. You've got a good proportion of everything here. You're just a little off in some of it. The feet are really tiny in comparison to the rest of her body. Her fingers are a little, like there's no real shape to them. They're just sausages, kind of. <laughs> um, and uh, the star kind of loses its shape. Everything kind of loses its shape a little bit compared to, um, For great you know, science. her overall shape that she actually has. But you're really close. Like, you definitely looked off of it and tried to do it on your own. I'm gonna give the same advice here. Start thinking about those proportions. Actually draw over top of this character. Okay? Think about where her, like, instead of just drawing her dress and where you think. Luma has to be stockier. Um, yeah. Luma, Luma does have to be a little stockier. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's way more teardrop shaped. Okay. Phalanges, phalanges, the fingers. Okay, so. Oh, I was gonna try to copy it in here. Okay, so, um, you drew directly off of what you saw with the character, and you didn't draw out her body. You just drew the dress onto her as you saw it. You saw Luma, you saw everything else. You need to think about all that. And that's again where you're gonna have to do the body build, the face build, everything else so you know where everything is supposed to go. Put it into place and then draw the dress and everything on top of her how you know the dress is supposed to fit, okay? It's, it's the next step. It's the next thing that they're thinking of, but it's really cute. Like from going off of what you could see and what you could do, you did an awesome job. I love how the thin lines work in here. I love how very flat everything kind of works together here. Um, everything's really soft. You also are coloring your lines, which is a really good step, okay? I love the line coloring. Um, I love when people do that because it gives it a whole new look to the art. So definitely keep doing that. But if you're gonna have something as um, soft as Luma is and then uh, his eyes being so, um, just so like black in comparison to how bright you might want to try color even those uh, to a softer color because everything is so very bright and pastel colored right so instead of having a just black maybe try doing like a really light brown or something that would match with the face or something so that that would be my recommendation for stuff later oh my gosh derp wow Oh, it's not gonna load for me. Come on! 
No, don't don't mess up on me now. Give me picture. Okay, here we go. Um, oh, I forgot to say, Cargas. Again, you did a really good job. Thank you. I will practice my fingers. Haha. <laughs> hey, it's okay. You should have seen how long it took me to like get fingers down at all. It's okay. Like, I know, I'm sorry, the way I said sausage just was kind of rude. I didn't mean it rude by any means, sweetheart. So don't take that the wrong way, okay? Um, you're, you're doing a good job. You've definitely got a good idea. Keep working on it, sweetheart, okay? Derp. Oh my god, this is so cute. Um, if you guys look here a little bit, Derp likes doing this and I like what she does with it. See how some of the shade here is purple? And see how the glow is kind of showing off some of this area on Echo and on Nar on the back of his tail a little bit, but it doesn't completely overtake them. It's really nice on that. Um, Derp, I think the biggest thing that I have is with Nar is that he's all head. There's no neck or body going on with him. He's just kind of like a stump here. Um, you have it with Echo. Echo looks great. I love his chibi style. He's still in proportion while being squashed um into place you know he's got his arms still he's got each of his fingers he's got his stubby little feet his pants work great on him everything's still really good there just like nar has no body at, like you lost it a little bit there <laughs> i really love this though i love your coloring everything looks really awesome on that um, I love the double-sided lighting where you've got the light shining off from the sword and then you've got the main sword is coming from here so it's like an afterglow but uh oops copy image okay so here's where I'm gonna redline this a little bit so you've got Nar here's his body There's the body, the leg, like, and that's part of the back of his head that I see right here. You see what I'm saying? Like, he is... Oh, also, his tail kind of looks like it does this right now from where it's at. So it's just a little on the lumpy side here. Um, and I just, like... This is like the back of his head, and then his chest and everything. It's all just a little off here, but I think that could be easily fixed by just making sure... Oh, no, I guess you meant that to be the back. It still looks like the back of his head to me because of the shape of everything. Um, I want to see maybe his head go... Oh, you know what? You probably fix it really easily by making his head just a little bit smaller, giving him a neck. And then that's really about it. And just a tiny neck, too. So let's see if I can do that really quick. Because his neck is currently, like, molding into the rest of his body. And then being careful about the rest of him right here so this would kind of be like that we can move his hand up a little bit that's not what I wanted though because I don't want all of that space there Hey bun, this actually isn't my art. I'm doing critiques for other people. This art is actually by Derp Time. Um, she's a really fantastic artist anyway. I'm still covering up the rest. Oh well, I'll just, you kind of get my idea here though, right? I hope. So like you can move uh, that up so his shoulder is back in place properly because actually his shoulder would be over here. And then. So it's just something that you gotta kind of fix up just... Uh, I'm just gonna erase the hand. For great science! 
Yeah, it's all, it's all just a little slightly out of proportion, but you see what I'm saying though? Like making his head a little bit smaller and giving him a neck a little bit so that, cause it's all just blending in right here to where he's just kind of a blob. Um, that's, that's my only real big qualm is just Gnar here. Echo looks great. Echo's shapes are awesome. Um, you know, the, oh, and the tail right here should probably like from where his starting point is. Yeah, that would, that would be more proper. Um, but look at how awesome Echo shaped. I love everything about Echo. The shades, the colors, the lighting. Everything looks awesome for the rest of this. It's just Nars proportions that are off a little bit. I really, really love this. Sick job, sweetheart. I absolutely love this. Fantastic freaking job. Okay, guys. I am so sorry, but I am not going to get through the rest of this today. I am exhausted. So... Um, thank you guys very much for hanging out today. I will try to do another critique day very soon. Sooner than before the weekend, I'm hoping, okay? Maybe even tomorrow. Just let me catch my breath a little bit and let me get back to these and I'll do another recording very soon and I will announce it on my Twitter, okay? So for those of you who are waiting, don't worry. Whoops. I will promise, I promise I will get to all of this for you guys, okay? I promise, I promise, I promise. I'll definitely do my best, okay? So I will start next time on Anko, okay? I will record that and I will put everything up onto uh, YouTube as quickly as possible, okay? Thank you guys so much for hanging out. For those of you who are going to be seeing this on YouTube, thank you for checking out part one and part two. I will get to part three and beyond as soon as I possibly can, okay? Um, you all have been fantastic and I hope you have a very fantastic wonderful amazing night i need to get my brain back together i'm all messed up here so all right um as always if you guys want to support me all of the support links and being able to join me on discord are below in the description and the channel comments they're all over the place so i promise if you just check the more comments or check out on twitch all the the information below it has my schedule and checking out my twitter is the best way to find out when i'm doing more of these okay i'm going to try to get back onto a proper schedule especially once summer's con is over summer's oh, con is over okay sense. so i love you all have a fantastic night and we'll see you all soon okay